Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Oh, sometimes the game that you're playing will drive you potty. It will drive you insane from the first moment you roll out, and you will get progressively more upset. Mainly because you will see players camping. That's right, the dreaded campers. Thing is, not all camping is detrimental to you in your gameplay. There are times when camping becomes effective sniping. And we're going to look at a replay where that is exactly the case. A game that in the first few seconds I was tearing my hair out, but then things change differently. So let's jump into the replay and have a look. Okay, so this is the game in question and we're rolling out in the camp. 50T Jaeger. It's a German tier 10 medium tank and I actually quite like it. It's a collector by the way and I actually quite like it. It's pretty pretty nice. Um, it, it has got pretty bad lower armor but the turret's pretty solid. Now if you look at the minimap here I'm pretty well advanced forward and two mediums are camping behind me. At 2Ds are also camping behind me. Now the TDs you generally expect. I didn't expect the two mediums, which happens to be a T62A and a Progetto, to be sat on my rear, to be honest with you. And this was a game where I sat there thinking, my God, there are at least four tanks now in front of me. There's a Sheridan, an M60, a Progetto. Now there's a fifth tank. So the lion's share of their team is now here, and I'm isolated and alone. Oh, I sound like Ed Stafford. But what can you do? Well, what you can do is this. You know your team is camping. I can see it on the minimap. My team is camping. So what I'm trying to achieve now is to try and keep my tank in a relatively safe position and bait the enemy team onto me. And... This is exactly the only thing you can do. Already I've got 2,300 assistance damage. I've blocked 2,100 and I've knocked out 1,400. I've now taken a kill. And as long as I can keep my angles relatively okay, and as long as I can keep baiting them onto those four tanks that are sat behind me, we are going to be okay. We've not lost a tank here. I've lost over half my hit points, of course. I'm on the front line. I shouldn't be on the front line in a medium. Now the damage with my assistance is over 4k. And this is the thing. So whilst camping may send you into a hissy fit and a bit of a tis was, it is not always doom and gloom. Just remember, if players are camping behind you, then don't rush forward any further bait the enemy team onto the guys who are behind you. Now this is not to say that camping is ideal. It's not. You know, in certain circumstances it's just not ideal. It's frustrating, it's annoying, and it's just players farming. But it's not always as bad as you think. Now it was the mediums and the TDs on this team who camped. It wasn't the heavies. The heavies did their job. We do 3.6k. We I had 2.6k blocked we've taken four kills okay and how much did we actually get in assistance wow we got 4.39k in assistance damage purely by baiting the other team on to us and we get the spotting medal and the mastery because the, the our game plan our strategy changed we allowed the enemy to push on to us we were relatively safe, we knew what the tank could do, we know what the map positions are, and we could see on the minimap where our team was. So that is an example of camping is not always the end of the world. So I don't think it is, because it's not. So whilst it may be frustrating, and whilst you may want to tear your hair out and call your team nasty names, just remember, there is always a silver lining to every cloud. There's always a positive. So if your team is camping and you're in a forward position, if you have the ability to fall back, to allow the enemy to pull onto you and put them onto the guns behind you, then that is exactly what you should be doing. And you too can end up with games like this. Anyway, I've been Fujit. 
well, that has been an interesting little game on camping and it's not the end of the world so love to hear your comments on that um that's what the youtube comments are there for so write them down below and until the next time guys remember it's only a game so stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because at the end of the day that's what it's all about isn't it having fun being happy